I feel good though, chat. Growing feels real good. You know. Trust me, we're gonna be we're gonna be ready for next year. We're gonna be right. We're gonna be right. I'm trying to get my job. They try to I don't know what happened. Man, Anthony Davis loves him some Call of Duty, man. He can't stay off the video game. No disrespect to him. Look, AD, when I when I get stressed, I go to 2K. But at least I go to 2K. You in the NBA. Shouldn't your vice be 2K? Maybe he's maybe he's tired of basketball because that is his life. And he's literally on the video game, on the cover of the video game. Maybe he's like, yeah, I don't want to go to 2K as my vice. It's funny. He gets on the cover of NBA 2K, and now all I see him play is Call of Duty. So apparently AD was in the midst of a live stream and he assured Laker nation that they would be coming back for revenge next season. I hope he means that man. I, I hope AD puts in the needed attention to his body. Hey, I'm getting married next year. I'm about to go on a complete shutdown diet for my marriage. Uh, my marriage ain't my career. That's, that's a part of my life. My wedding day ain't my career though. If I'm going to lock in and go to the extra level for my for my for one day, I would like to see AD lock in and do this for his uh career. The remainder of his career as a Laker fan, it was obviously frustrating to see AD not finish the season. For me it was even more frustrating two things. The fact that I knew the Lakers would have beat the Suns had AD just been able to make it to the court for the remainder of that series and also seeing LeBron literally damn near injure himself over and over again trying to play in AD's absence. LeBron is in his 17th, 18th year. AD's in the prime of his career, or should be at least. One guy's body's supposed to be breaking down. The other guy's body's supposed to be at his peak. And that was not the case last season. I need Anthony Davis to put that damn Call of Duty controller down in a few weeks. Get, let's, give him till, let's give him till July. Laker Nation, let's let him have his fun till July. If he wants to play his game, for, for play PlayStation 5, whatever, Xbox, uh, whatever, whatever he wants to do, let's give him to July. But around July, I need him to lock in the gym with a trainer, figure out that jumper again. And I know Dennis Schroeder is his, 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 his Call of Duty buddy. I need them to get away from the zombies and, and get away from uh, the team deathmatch. And I need them to go back into that gym and lock themselves in. And I need them to have as much chemistry as, on the court as they do on Call of Duty. That's what I need from Laker Nation next year. That's what I need from them specifically. If the Lakers are bringing back Schroeder, which I don't know if that's going to be the direction. He might be too expensive. We'll see what's his value like this summer. But if, if, if Schroeder's coming back at point, I need to. they need to test it out. They need the, Lakers need to know if, if Schroeder and AD can do this together in, in real life, not on Call of Duty. All right, So I'm, I'm happy that AD's letting us know that he'll be back and ready to ball out. He obviously knows this was a disappointing championship defense. The Clippers might end up being the champions, which will be interesting if the last two champions reside in Staples Center. That'll add a little tension to that Bruin rivalry. We shall see how that plays out. But nevertheless, I need to see AD back focused on being the best version of himself. And when he is that, he's a Hall of Famer. No if fans buts about it. When he is that, the Lakers will contend for championships. Now, if and buts about it, my stance remains consistent. When Anthony Davis is the Lakers' best player, that team is competing for championships. 